So guys, today's trip, I am off to Berlin, off to see one of my clients. We are building out their auto webinar funnel. We're actually just redoing their webinar. Um, they've already done, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say, but already done a considerable number, uh, multiple five figures, coming close to six figures within their first four to five webinars, live webinars that we did together. Uh, this is overexposed. Um, so yeah, now I'm just coming in already helped them build out their live webinar funnel before, helped them launch it, et cetera, et cetera. Now we're just going back to kind of construct and um, you know, get this, the, the auto version of it set up uh, so they can just focus on their business and their agency. So whew, gonna call the Uber and uh, head off. Natasha says hi. Hey. <laughs> Anything else? Um, no, I don't think so. Any words of motivation? For you or for them? For them. Go crush it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> heard it here first, so uh, yeah, guys, I'll, uh, I'll see you once I land in Germany. Trying to stay light on my toes, just ran a light in the rose. Told me I'm looking exhausted, you hit it right on the nose. I'm tired of all of these niggas, I'm tired of all of these hoes. Worry about taking my lane, they ain't even got on the road. They So guys, let me give you all a little tour of the room. First thing I need to say is this place is, like kind of the interior and stuff like that is super, super cool. I'll see if I can get some clips later or something like that. I'll probably forget, but there's just like cheetah, like cool, like cheetah prints everywhere. The photos are like super saucy. I mean, all fairness, this place is called Hotel Zoo. So yeah, um, the room is like pretty standard, honestly, but um, Oh, it's just cool to like, <laughs> I don't know, the thing I like about hotel rooms compared to like, say like a Airbnb and stuff like that is, you know, when I was in Rome with, uh, with Natasha, my girlfriend, it was really nice to have like, it was really nice to like feel as though we were properly like in Rome, get the Rome experience. But when I am kind of like away, uh, for example, on business, um, or I am away, for example, in a place like Tenerife, Honestly, I don't really want to like, I don't want to clean my own shit up. I like to have, in the morning when I wake up, I like to have more coffee there for me. Uh, I like to have, the, you know, just the fact that you get your bed made, you don't have to deal with any of it. Um, so yeah, just in general, guys, like, it's a pretty standard room. Honestly, nothing special. Um, but the hotel is really, really cool. As I said, just got some, like, <laughs> it just got like a cool vibe to, um, you know, even like the, the telephone and stuff like that. I find that pretty dope. Um, uh, as I said, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to, first of all, I like this, I love this fucking huge full length mirror. I wish I had something like this in my house. And yeah, guys, as I said, I'm super excited to sleep in that bed. Cause who doesn't just like waking up the next day and having everything taken care of. So um, yeah, that's one of the reasons I still like hotel. So I am gonna rest up. It is now, it is now, what is that as I can show? Uh, 9, 10, obviously, uh, Germany time is one hour ahead for me. Uh, okay, you are really not wanting to focus here. Okay, whatever. You can see it's like 9, 10. Um, for me, though, it is like 8, 10 in terms of like how tired I'm feeling and stuff like that. But I'm going to try to uh, wake up early. thing I like about this place, 24-hour gym, which is so good. So I can wake up, I can go, you know, crank out a workout, crush it, and then I can eat straight after. Um which I don't normally do. For some reason, when I'm on holiday, uh, you know, I kind of skip my intermittent fasting, especially because I know it's gonna be a really hectic day tomorrow. I don't really know when I can have my lunch. I don't know what I'm having for lunch. I don't know when I can have my dinner, what I'm having for dinner. So uh, I like to just, when I'm on holiday or abroad, um, if there's breakfast, I usually just like to have it. So you guys, I am gonna unwind and then uh, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. So guys, it is now around six o'clock here in Germany. I woke up around 20, 25 minutes ago. Just kind of chilled, meditated, took some time to get up. Here is actually how I'm, don't usually do this, but here's actually how I'm currently looking because I'm sure that a lot of you guys saw on my Instagram and I think I emailed out, put on my Facebook group that I was looking for a personal trainer. So this is how I'm currently looking. Um, morning, so I'm looking like ridiculously flat. Um, I'm looking like decently lean, the lighting is good. Found a personal trainer starting to work with him from Friday, literally once I get back from this trip. So I'll let you know how that, guys, how that goes, guys. You guys know I like to 
just literally dish off any thing that I would rather not manage myself and that includes you know figuring out my workout plan actually just like getting motivated at six in the morning especially because I do intermittent fasting I just don't enjoy training um, when I'm fasted um, like I actually just don't enjoy it at all whereas if I have food in my stomach I love it like it's my favorite thing so um, yeah just having someone there I think will really help so I'm gonna hit the gym as I said they have a 24-hour gym which is amazing so they're gonna hit the gym I'm uh, gonna go hit the gym now I'm uh, gonna go hit the gym now um, and then I'm gonna eat breakfast then I have to come here and then I have a ridiculous backlog of Facebook ads to do so I have to edit some of the creatives first then get going with the ads so guys as I said really exciting day um, with AJ Smart, uh, we are doing 10 to 6 o'clock training their team and I asked them if we could do a live webinar today. Uh, do a live webinar today at 8 so I can be there with them, train them through it. Um, every live webinar that they usually do, they do around 20,000 euros uh, from the webinar and they maybe have like 50, no, like 80 to 100 attendees. So that's a ridiculous conversion rate as you can imagine. Usually they get like Usually on live webinars, they get like anywhere from 25 to 35% conversion rate um, or 20 to 35% conversion rate. So some pretty ridiculous numbers. Now it's just time to like ramp up uh, the traffic and really just tie up the webinar, which is what I'm here to do after already building out their first webinar funnel. So exciting stuff. We also have the live webinar at eight o'clock, as I said, which is going to be really interesting. Looking forward to the numbers after that. Hit a little push session right before we head off to AJ Smart. Not the biggest gym, but honestly, just as long as they have like a decent set of dumbbells, then uh, we can make it work. All cleaned up, time to head off to the client. Check out how cool these hallways are. This is incredible thing, design sprints. We haven't, you know, we haven't really actually taught other people how to build a business around this mm -hmm. until now. Mm -hmm. um, design sprint is wildly profitable. Sorry. That's cute. That's cute. We really can't keep up. Like we have, well, well we what? have the problem of like... So, we've got the webinar all set up. Pretty cool, <laughs> pretty cool setup right in the middle of the office. You excited? I'm a bit nervous, I'll give you my honest feelings. I'm mm -hmm. a tiny bit nervous. Because Why? You have, uh, you've completely changed the web class that we were going to do to something very different to what I'm normally comfortable with, so I have no idea if it's going to work or not, but you've been right so far, so <laughs> I don't know. All right, there we go. So um, obviously from the last webinar, last web class that we set up, um, changed things a little bit. Um, yeah, <laughs> changed things a little bit. Um, I mean, there's always like fine tuning that we can do in terms of the webinar slides, set up the backend emails, so have all of that set up. Uh, and then now we're just launching it to like a group of like 80 test group members. And then hopefully, well, not hopefully, definitely will. This will convert. Um, and then once it converts well and we know it converts well, then we can start to build out the auto webinar funnel. So they don't have to do a live webinar every single time. But yeah, really excited. As Jonathan said, Completely changed the webinar because the issue with the last one was great knowledge, great information, but like there's still so many like holes in the in the sales process. Like there's so many limiting beliefs to get to the sale that it's just like it doesn't matter if there's like this golden nugget of information. There's a wall in front of it. You know, there's this golden opportunity, um, which is you know you've seen the huge fucking office they have, 20 employees, this incredible thing that you know they're passionate about, which is design sprints. Uh, which we worked really hard to bring in bring in new customers and, and new clients of theirs, huge clients, Airbnb, Slack, um, UEFA, like just ridiculous clients. Like we've worked hard to do that. Now they want to share that um, and move into the info product space, which they've already done. We've already done that over the last three months uh, and done it extremely well. But now it's time to take things to the next level. So uh, as I said, completely stripped away the, um, you know, the webinar, made it more about putting people to ease breaking the limiting beliefs um you know the good old saying like facts tell stories sell it's time to sell people it's time to break the limiting beliefs so they can get exposed to all the stuff that they execute on and you know what it is that um, they're passionate about so 
really excited. We have around 18 minutes until the live, um, and I'll keep you guys updated. Nation projects, uh, NGOs, uh, general transformation projects, individual three years. Originally, I'm from Ireland. I was born in Cork, South Ireland, so that's why my accent is a kind of weird mix of I don't even know what it, what it is. And I Especially the first time that that totally made for So I'll just tell you what now. What? No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're going to edit this. Um, what just happened is we just finished a web class. It went a webinar. It went really, really well. But I actually didn't think it was going to go very well. I don't, look, don't look too good right now. The wife um, beater. Yeah. Um, I really didn't think it was going to go well, but Iman kind of gave gave us the confidence to give it a go. And uh, yeah, fucking, you were right. I don't know. I was I was wrong. You were right. But that's actually <laughs> that's why we pay you now. <laughs> So guys, it is day two of the workshop uh, here in Germany. I'm not actually gonna record today, so I want to end off the vlog here, and I want to, I want to, I want to end it off with a little bit of a message, and that is there is a huge difference between formal education and self education, right? And I know some people look at, for example, me coming out to Germany. You know, it's amazing. You know, having flying business class, staying in a five star hotel, having all of that paid for. On top of that, getting paid daily, probably double the, the same amount or double what most people make in a month. I get paid in a day for my, you know, for my knowledge and expertise. And that is sort of the funniest thing about the entire situation is it's like expertise. Now, don't get me wrong with AJ Smart. I, I don't actually know what Jonathan said when he took the camera away, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but like. I think he said something along the lines of uh, Iman has literally de uh, delivered a 10x return on investment. And I actually think that is an understatement. It's probably closer to like 15, 20x. But the point is, it's definitely 10x, right? So don't get me wrong, like AJ Smart, right? The company, the company I work with and all of my clients, they get a huge return on investment. But as I said, you know, I get paid this amount for my expertise, but this is sort of really what I want to dive into in this last final segment of the video is expertise. I am coming here in June. I did not, I ran my first ever Facebook ad in August. I didn't even start learning it properly until last September. And the stuff I'm teaching them here today, I only learned in January. Okay, so this expertise, I haven't even known, like I've only known about it for nine months. I've only been implementing it for nine months. And that's really the difference between someone who goes into a formal education system, learns from four, for four years, and this isn't like gonna be another college rant or anything like that, it's more to do about like marketing and business. You know, that's the difference between when you go learn for four years and then have a degree and then now you feel entitled, compared to you go straight to the source, no matter how much it costs, you know, to acquire all this information that I got, it took me a while or that didn't take me long, oh wow. It cost me a lot of money, right? It cost me a lot of money and I just like, I saw my resources in front of me and I just dove straight into it. And as I said, in the space of nine months, I went from having zero knowledge about paid traffic, funnels, any sort of webinar, um, anything to do with backend emails, anything to do with retargeting ads, the entire, for example, you know, with this particular client, we're building out the webinar funnel, right, or, or tweaking it, making it even better. I had no, not a single clue how to execute on any of this nine months ago. And then as I said, you know, nine months later, I'm getting paid double what someone gets paid in a month for a day's work and I'm coming in for multiple days. And on top of that, my agency gets a retainer from them. So it's like, like, it's just so cool. And you know, I always say it's like, you know, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. And this is sounding too good to be true. But once again, the reason I said the big difference is other people will listen to like people will learn something. And unfortunately, they'll listen to people who aren't qualified to speak about it. Okay. If you go straight to the source, if you commit to something, if you learn something and then implement it, you know, one of the reasons that I'm able to come here and do this is because one of the reasons I'm able to do this is because I implemented it all myself with multi six figure results. So like, I know how to do this. Then I went, I went to a couple of my clients before AJ and I went, guys, I've made multi six figures from webinar funnels. Like, can I like, I'll teach you guys. And because it's the first time I'm teaching you, 
or this, because it's the first time my agency is gonna handle this sort of client, I'll do it for half price for the first two months. Got some results, and then there you go. And you, for example, with AJ Smart, because I got them such good results, they've literally introduced me to four or five people now. <laughs> you know? So if you're worried about like the whole, yeah, but what if I fuck up, etc., etc., just get a client for free or get a client for half price, you know, or test it out on yourself first. You know, as I said, confidence comes from competence. And, um, you know, really the, the entire thing to kind of like all encompass this message is it's, it's not going to take as long as you think to become an expert in something. Okay, just find who is doing amazing at it, go straight to the fucking source, learn from the source, and then implement it, and if need be, implement it for free or a reduced fee, and then there you go. Then you can use that as social proof and leverage to any other client you ever have. For example, with AJ Smart or any of my other clients that I have all these like case studies and, and pitch decks with, like I let that do the talking. I barely, you know, I don't need to do the talking when I have these people all vouching and vetting for me, right? And as I said, it didn't take me that long to learn it. It didn't take me that long to learn it. I, I completely, you know, a lot of you guys have seen and you've heard me talk a lot about like the concept of just by success. It's not that hard. You just find someone who's, who has success, you buy it. And I, you know, I know what that process is like. I know that stings. Right, and every single month I spend quite a bit of money. April was eighteen thousand dollars. Last month was ten thousand dollars. This month, I think I've actually spent nothing on self education. But you know, I know what it's like to spend a lot of money on self education. It stings, right? It stings because you don't know whether it's gonna work out. But it's just like, I don't know. I'm I, doing this sort of stuff, like especially when I work face to face with my clients, because most of my clients I call over Zoom. I call over Skype, I barely ever see them. Even the ones in London, I don't see them. I don't see a point in wasting my time to go travel to their office or for them, for us to meet somewhere. And they're the same, if we can get the same outcome, we'd rather just do it over Zoom or Skype, okay? But when I do see my clients, for example, here, where I fly out and see one of my clients, like, it just reminds me, it's just like, it's so cool. Like, honestly, it's so cool because you know, I'm, I'm like kind of like lost for words with this stuff because, you know, here I am like an 18 year old kid, you know, an 18 year old kid. I have no formal degree whatsoever. Like I've literally dropped out of high school and like these big businesses are vying for my attention and paying huge amounts to, you know, for, for, for them to work with my agency. And I said, the only reason that is, is because I found something, I found something I found a high income producing skill, right? So I found something where if I learn this skill, I am worth a lot of money. I am worth a lot of money to other people. And when I'm worth, let's, let's just say a hundred units to someone and I go, I, I can get you a hundred units of value and I will charge 20 units. Now just multiply that by whatever. If I'm worth a hundred grand to you and I charge you 20 grand, does, does that sound good? I'm like, well, you fuck yeah. So guys, as I said, learn some high income producing skills. It's not going to take as long as you think it will. And you know, once you learn, once you log uh, logically, you know, learn the resources and, and learn all the information, just go apply it straight away. Go apply it straight away. And I guess the last thing I can say is learn to sell. Okay. Like it pretty much in all of entrepreneurship, you know, um, there's things that you can kind of like outsource and you can kind of like, like for example, with me, most of my stuff I have, I call them contractors, but they're pretty much because they work with me so much and they pretty much have full-time employee wages, but like they're part of my team. You know, they have business email, we have team meetings. Um, none of them are, or actually only two of them live in London, but we never have like physical meetings. Once again, everything is remote, so I don't have to waste any time. So my point is with pretty much all of business, I say guys, just outsource it. You know, I call it the Expedia business model, you know, outsource it to contractors, train contractors, and let them do the stuff that you don't know how to handle. The only thing that I will honestly tell you, you gotta learn is sales. You know, that's the only one where I will bullshit you. And that doesn't mean you need to be this like Wolf of Wall Street, cold caller, stuff like that. That just means when you get face to face with someone, are you able to show them why your service or your product or your whatever 
is worth more than what they're paying, right? And once again, this type of sales is nothing like the Wolf of Wall Street stuff. It's not high pressure, it's not this or it's not that. It's just making it very clear what's in it for them. So that's pretty much the only last thing that I think you need to learn. And I think it's just important because everything in life is sales. Everything is persuasion. You and your girlfriend are deciding what movie to watch, persuasion. You and your, you're trying to sign a client, persuasion. You're trying to, I don't know, do, let's uh, skip in front of the line because you're five minutes late to a meeting or something like that. And you're per you have to persuade the person in the front of the line, persuade, or you're, you're late to your flight and you gotta skip to the front of the line so you don't miss your flight, persuasion, okay? Everything in life is persuasion. So guys, big, actually not big, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you can see my mind's like super scattered now, right now, but big rant to finish off the vlog. And um, yeah, guys, it's been an incredible trip. I am off for the last day uh, here in Germany and then I'm back to London. Um, so yeah, guys, really appreciate you watching and uh, I will see you in the next video.